Hi everyone, welcome to the next video from this fruits page from Small Victories by Johanna Basford. We're down here on our very last row, which is so sad because I'm having so much fun with this page. And this one down here, I think, is a papaya. I've got a picture. There. What do you think? I think it's a papaya. So that's how I'm going to colour it. I have made a bit of a boo-boo though, because I haven't got the flower or the leaf um, in my picture. So I've got no idea um, how to colour it. So that'll be interesting. I might go and do some research in a minute, but I'm going to make a start first and uh, colour the seeds. Now they're very, very dark brown, almost black. So probably, um, I was firstly thinking dark sepia, but I think it's a little bit too grey. We want something that's actually got some warmth of brown in it. And I'm thinking what I might actually do is take my burnt sienna and colour a layer first. Because this is a nice warm brown. Sort of almost orangey. So I'm just going with all of that in burnt sienna. There we go. And then going to my burnt umber and doing them. I'm going to go around the edge of each one, I think. They are small. I'm going to try and make them darker on the edge than in the middle. If this is too much for you, then just colour over them. And hopefully you'll still see some of the warmth. I mean, it is actually looks nothing like that, but I prefer it. It's a bit paler, isn't it? Maybe we can uh, we can add in some darker colour in a bit. Let's see how it looks when we're done. Yeah, I might go darker. Um, I, I could go black, I could go dark grey. I think I'm going to go black. I think it needs a bit of black. Whoops. Here we go, black. So I'm not pushing down really hard. I want the brown to show through. Still, just going around the edge of each one. There we go. Now, the flesh of our fruit, you can see it there in the picture, is almost a dark peach, um, a sort of dark salmon, pinky orange, hard to describe. Oh, excuse me, the exact colour, but I'm going to have to mix up some colours to get it, that's for sure. I'm going to start with my cinnamon. I don't use this colour often, I've used it quite a few times on this page, which is quite interesting. So the cinnamon, I'm just going to put down an initial layer and then I can look at how the colour looks. This looks a bit more like a pear than this, doesn't it? But because of this bit, I think that might be that bit where it changes colour. That was my thought, but I might be completely wrong. Now, what are we needing to or or add? Some orange, some pink. Um, I'm thinking mm, that there where it's shaded looks quite reddish but I think I'm going to try a little bit of cadmium orange and see because it needs to have some vibrancy. 
that's sure going to help with that but it's going to be too orange then so I have to add something else um, maybe some pink I'm keeping it quite even the colour throughout the fruit it's just while well, I'm just trying to figure out the shade but that's too orange but it's okay um, I'm wondering I'm thinking this pink might work it is the dark flesh or salmon whoops it's called Think mixed with those other two we might get a little bit closer to the colour that we're looking for actually it looks more like a russet doesn't it rather than the pink I think I'm going to add a little bit of pinky red. Let's get some madder. Find it. Now this is quite a dark pencil, so I'm going to have to be quite careful and add it really quite lightly because I don't want it turning into red. We want to keep all those colours showing through, sort of oranges and things. It's going to end up a little bit dark. Okay, I think I'm tempted to just put a bit of white on top to lighten it, if I can. Oops. There's our white. I'm just going to scribble with it. It's got a bit of colour on the end. There we go. So I'm just going to try and go over quite a lot. See if I can tone it down and blend it up a bit. Don't need to do it on the central part, of course. reasonable isn't it? I'm quite happy with that mix of colour. Um, but now we need to do the outside of this one. Now from the picture we can see this one looks quite orangey but I think we'll take that yellowy colour and that green and do it. So that end of that one looks actually looks blue. I'm going to just do a nod to that with a deep, we'll start with the deep cobalt, cobalt green and just put the small bit at the top. That's more bluish. But I'm not going to uh, do much of that. I'm going to... I'm going to use the permanent green, more like this green right down here. Now I'm going to go over the top of what I've done so it blends in. Right, just fill in the gap there. There we go. Now I'm thinking that bottom bit quite yellowy. It's slightly yellowy orange here, but very yellowy here. I'm thinking this yellow looks right. This is 108. It is the dark cadmium yellow. I'm not going to put down a really heavy layer to start with. I'm going to think about whether I want it to be just this colour or if I want to add a little more in. I think, hmm, see this one looks like it gets darker as it goes up there. 
So I'm wondering whether we should be doing the same thing. Just putting another layer down first. Not still not hard. Yeah, I think I'll grab the dark chrome yellow and just do the top bit a little bit darker. Now I've just realised that we've got this bit at the bottom that doesn't exist here so we're obviously I've obviously picked completely the wrong thing but hey that's okay and I am going to do a shadow between them um, grab the dark sepia just where they're leaning against each other there'd be a bit of a shadow Now I'm going to go and grab my um, a device so I can look up um, the, what the leaves and flowers look like, so hold on a moment. Right, I am back and I've been looking and I'll show you. This is the papaya flower, um, but in some of the pictures they look creamy coloured, so I'm going to make it easy on myself and make them cream and not white. The leaves just look quite a pale green. So, looking at the pictures of the papaya, I'm pretty sure this definitely isn't one, but we'll pretend that I didn't notice that. And we'll grab a cream pencil for our petals. Oops, that's not cream. This is the cream. <laughs> Here we go. Cream. And I'm just going to colour the whole of it quite evenly because using such a pale colour I don't think I could try and fade it towards the tip or anything like that because I think it would um, I think it would not just not show up really I just realised that my light isn't on the correct setting hmm doesn't want to. Sorry, I'm going to switch it off, on again, then change the setting. There we go. We had a power cut um, earlier. I I did mention it in the an earlier video. I think in the grapes video, so during the two days ago. But I'm recording all of these um, together. Not all of them. Um, this little last batch. I think if I try to do the whole page at once it would be a bit much. Now I'm trying to work out if these are leaves or petals. Um, they've got the dots on like the leaves, I think it makes a bit more sense. So there are cream petals, very faint, but the centres were darker so we can go a bit, quite a bit darker I think. I'm going to grab this light chrome yellow just do the middles. There we go. Now the leaves are quite light, so I'm actually going to use this grass green. Now they don't have stalks. Um, I can't see any in any photos, so. I'm just gonna guess and here I'm going to just make the bot the bottoms of the leaves a little bit darker a bit lighter on the tip like that same here Same on this one as well. Gosh, I can hear water sounds like someone like someone's having a shower. So stop now. 
Maybe it's just running for a long time. Now, I don't like those stalks being in green. I think it looks a bit odd. So I'm going to go over them in the burnt umber. I think that looks better. And I'm going to do a little bit more shadowing. I used the dark sepia before, so we'll use that again. So a little bit on our leaves here, where the, it would be casting a shadow down and also between them. Probably a little bit on the flower too. There we go. Now you might want to try and make this, this one's cut flat. But this one is around and it looks quite flat, so I'm going to use my dark sepia to just put a little bit around the edge to try and make it look just a little bit more rounded. All the way around and then just fade it up. It's quite, um, quite dark actually, darker than I'd expected it to look. Just trying to gently fade it in. Yeah, that's okay. I might just grab a yellow, the 108, which was, it's our dark cadmium yellow. Just sort of go over it a little bit up here. Just sort of blend it in a bit. Just I think I'm going to leave that one there. It looks, yeah, interesting. <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. I tried to copy what I thought it was, but I think I got it very wrong. So anyway, you can let me know what you think it is. I'd be really interested to know actually what, what, what it actually is. But uh, maybe it's a quince. Don't know. Anyway, that's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I've done. <laughs> so there we go. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a super time and happy colouring.